spirit fruit versus flesh works. Galatians 5, 19 to 23. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murder, drunkenness, revelries, and the like. Of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. As we continue our time exploring Paul's writing in Galatians chapter 5 verses 16 to 26 where Paul is teaching us about walking in the Spirit, living a life that is submitted, yielded and under the influence of the Holy Spirit where we live out of Him and out of His enabling and His empowering in our lives. Paul draws a distinction between what a life that is yielded to the flesh would produce and what would be evident in a life that is yielded to the Holy Spirit. Of course, he says that when we live according to the flesh, there are all these evil things that come out of our lives, things that are, cause problems to us and problems to others. A life that is in the flesh, a, 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 life, that is yield, a life that is given over to satisfying the lust of the flesh only produces things that are completely displeasing to God. But on the other hand, he says, if we walk in the Spirit, we will see the fruit of the Spirit. That means this is the fruit of walking in the Spirit, walking yielded to the Holy Spirit. Now, many times people say, well, the Holy Spirit produces the fruit. In one sense, it's true. But the fruit will only be evident when you are walking in the Spirit and when you're being led by the Spirit. It's not just automatic. I've got to yield myself to the Holy Spirit. He is dwelling in me. But when we walk in the Spirit, when we live a life yielded to the Spirit, then all this fruit become, becomes evident. People see love, they see joy, they see peace, they see kindness, they see goodness, they see gentleness, they see faithfulness, they see self-control becoming evident in our lives. And he says, you know, against such things, there is no law or there is no law they can produce such kind of things. Or there is no law even forbidding these things. So there is a life in the flesh, but the greater way to live is to walk in the Spirit. And when you walk in the Spirit, you don't need the law, as we saw earlier, because the law cannot produce these kinds of things. This fruit is produced when a person, a believer, is living yielded to the Holy Spirit. So. Walk in the Spirit and you will see the fruit of the Spirit be evident in your life and others will be blessed. Jesus will be glorified. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will help us walk in the Spirit, be led by the Spirit, to let the Holy Spirit have His way in our lives so that the fruit of the Spirit will be evident the fruit of a life that is yielded to the Holy Spirit will be evident in us and through us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.